Hi, my name is David McKeegan. I'm the president of Greenback Expat Tax Services, and I wanted to tell you a little bit today about the bona fide residence test. Now, as you may know, this is one of the two tests you need to pass in order to be considered an expat for your tax purposes. And so what does this really mean? You want to qualify as an expat so that you can receive the foreign earned income exclusion, which is $92,900 for the 2011 tax year. Uh, the foreign housing allowances and the deductions you can get there, which can also be quite significant. As well as the foreign tax credit, which allows you to offset some of the money you would owe uh, on your U.S. taxes because you've paid the taxes in a foreign country already. And that's a dollar for dollar offset, so that's a very good one to have as well. So what do you need in order to qualify as a bona fide resident? Well, the first thing is you have to be either a U.S. citizen or a U.S. resident alien, and you have to be living in a foreign country. Now, the second part is that you have to be resident in a foreign country. So how do you know if you're resident in a foreign country? Uh, well, the first part would be, you know, do you have a resident card in that country? Uh, the second question you could ask yourself is, am I paying taxes in this country, and can I show that to the IRS if I need to, to show that I am actually living and working and residing full-time in this foreign country? The third part to this test is whether you're residing full-time in the foreign country. So in order to qualify for the bona fide resident, you have to be living there for at least one year to begin with, and you have to have no intentions of going back to the United States. Now, this can be very difficult to gauge or to judge. You know, how can you say that I have no intention of ever going back to the U.S.? Well, it's not ever. It's just no immediate plans to go back. And this is something you can speak to your accountant about to make sure that you do qualify if you already know that you're not going to qualify for the, for the physical presence test or if you're worried that uh, you'd prefer to go down the route of the bona fide resident test because you do want to spend a little bit more time uh, either in the U.S. or outside the U.S. in other countries. So let's just talk uh, for a moment about a couple examples. Uh, the first example would be somebody that gets transferred to, let's say, Germany uh, by a U.S. company for a two-year contract. Now, because the length of time that you're in this foreign country in, in Germany is a two-year contract, you wouldn't be able to qualify for the bona fide resident test because you already know that you're there for a finite amount of time. Another example uh, is, let's say, you like to summer in Costa Rica or winter in Costa Rica and spend the rest of the time in the United States. Uh, so let's say you're down in Costa Rica for nine months a year and you're in uh, the United States for three months of the year. Again, you wouldn't qualify uh, under this example because you're not living there full time. You're actually splitting time between the United States and Costa Rica. Uh, another example would be if you move over to the UK, you get a job in the UK and uh, you know, you're just living there, you're working there, maybe you get married to somebody in the UK or something like that, uh, now you would qualify because now you're actually living in the UK. You have no immediate plans of, of moving back to the United States. So this is an example of somebody that would qualify. Again, this one can be quite confusing. And as always, I would recommend speaking to a qualified accountant before you know making any mistakes or uh, making any decisions that could lead to a mistake and cause you a big tax burden. Uh, yeah, any of our accountants at Greenback Expat Tax Services would be more than happy to speak to you and uh, talk through whether or not you qualify as a bona fide resident or whether you would qualify for the physical presence test. Thank you.